Hey guys, Language Hacker here. Today I'm going to talk to you about Paladin. Uh, and I'm going to help you see the light. What I'm going to talk to you about is this Control Paladin. Um, it runs Order in the Court, which is a new card in the mini set. Well, I say new. The mini set's been out for a bit. But it's a card in the mini sets, uh, the most recent mini sets, that reads Reorder your deck from your highest cost to lowest cost. Um, so puts your deck in order from most expensive to least expensive. And draw a card. Two mana draw card has been historically pretty good, but the important thing here is it reorders your deck from your highest cost lowest card. So you do a couple of things here. This is a kind of like a deck building challenge, but importantly, the main thing you need to know is that you end up drawing Carriel every single game. If you play uh, Order in the Court, uh, you are much, much, much more likely to have Carriel, which just wins game by, wins games by herself because of that. Um, now you could end up having just Carol on the top end, but there's a few extra cards we throw in uh, this deck to give you a bit more oomph, so it's not just Carol winning games. Sire Denathrius, which is good for healing, um, dealing damage, uh, and specifically healing after Carol is even better, because each point of health is worth more because of the immovable object where you take less damage. Light Rays are very good. You spend a lot of the early game playing some cheap Paladin cards, um, so as a result, when you do reorder your deck, uh, you don't necessarily want to draw a 10, 9, 9, 8, because you might not be able to play them yet if it's a little bit earlier on turns 4, 5, 6. But Light Ray will be cheap, hopefully zero mana, uh, and that's actually really good, right? If you do end up drawing the expensive cards, getting to Carol is easier when you have some zero mana 5, 5 taunts in the way. Um, it's a 50-50 in the 8-drop slot. You can get Varian uh, instead of Carol, but Varian's actually pretty good as well. It's almost always... I, I don't think I've ever whiffed on this before. I think it's every single time i played Varian, it has been a Rush Taunt Divine Shield minion, and it also draws some other useful cards in your deck. For example, Carol and Samuro are very good Rush minions that we include, and those are the only two Rush minions that we include, outside of Leviathan, but Leviathan's right after Varian as well. Taunts are good as well. Muckmore and Servant gives you some flexibility later on, and Righteous Protector gives you some survivability while you're trying to stay alive. Uh, and there's just Divine Shields everywhere, so keep an eye on that. Otherwise, we just run a bunch of cards. Smite is our other win condition, um, and then we, we run a bunch of cheap cards here that help us spend mana in the early game, play for tempo, and then when we feel we're in a good spot, we order in the court, draw the expensive cards, get Carol online, and then win the game from there. A couple of board clears here, the two equalities... Um, you can discover more qualities and more removal with your with either Battle Vicar, uh, Muckborn Servants, uh, School Teacher can help as well. So there are extra ways to find removal tools. Spammies help clean up Hunter boards. Sylvanas is good at either killing or stealing things as well. This deck has a lot of flexibility. Um, it's not the most aggressive deck in the meta, but there's still a, a bunch of early game cards that we include in order to fight for boards so we don't fall too far behind. Bunch of one drops, a couple of two drops, and then just other threes that either add cards to our hand or have a specific purpose like some of these legendaries deck's pretty cool here's some games try it out have a great time catch you next time oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps a lot appreciate you guys you shouldn't run a card that makes you worse against pretty much everything else and it doesn't just straight up win the mirror by the way it helps you win the mirror but it doesn't straight up win the mirror Give me one drop. I see you brought I see you brought yes. I will trade that. I have a quality in hand, but I have a really crispy curve. So I think hitting a couple of extra minions uh, off the Bannerman buff is worth. What is it? What is it? Can I have the city tax back? I have ways to spend mana, so we'll take the spammy to help us clean up board. Jailer is good versus Hunter too. You know what? That's not actually true. I tested a lot of that. I don't know if you have. Jailer was not as good against the. Uh, was not as good against that as you think it is. I could Muckborn here. It's much better in board. It's also better if they have. Uh, it's also better if they have Harpoon Gun, which they very likely kept. But not much better. Uh, really, it's not too heavy. Moyen, thanks for the nine months, dude. Welcome back to the hack pack. Excellent. Let's get some claps and chat from Moyen. Thank you. Appreciate you. 
Two drop hero power? Nah, we'll do this. Noble Sack's not actually that good here. This doesn't work either. Healing is okay. Noble Sack isn't awful later, but meh. This just isn't active. We have too many neutrals. I don't think I can play this here. It discounts this, but I don't think it's actually worth. I have a hype. I have a hype. No, I don't have a hype thing. All right, well. Thank you, Mirabel. Nasi, welcome back to the hack pack. It's slightly unfortunate for them to draw on this turn. It's kind of okay, though. This is infused, which is pretty spicy. Lotus as well for the 16. Welcome back. Thank you so much, everyone. And we got a hype train, too. Choo choo, you guys are awesome. Good to see you guys all here. Sean on the caboose as well. Welcome back for 38 months now. Three years and two whole months. No to be Good job, guy. You know what? Give yourself, give yourself, give yourself some claps. Give yourself some claps. I'll go to city tax. Yeah. Three three is fine. I'm not super far behind on board, so just buy some time and then set up for the clear. I don't really know why I picked, uh, I did this first. I should have played this first, because this is more likely to get me something relevant. I actually will take service spell. Mm. No, you don't get two care L's. It doesn't double what you get, but it draws all the copies that you get. Or all the copies in your deck still that uh, are there. Time for the finishing. So this is the second Crooked Cook I've seen in Hunter today. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Alex Traza might have been a bit safer as well. It's hard to set up exactly two against Hunter sometimes. So this might have been bad as well. They might want to trade the uh, Iron Deep into the... They might want to deny the healing. Which means they don't get a draw off the Crooked Cook, which is actually pretty spicy. They're playing around the spammy quite a bit. It's a little annoying. It's not great. Oh, this is actually much bigger than I expected. How are you so big? Oh, right. I remember how you were so big. That might, that might actually be worth it then. I didn't realize the spammy was this big. Yeah, full clearing here is great. Because this contests a mountain there. And this also doesn't die to this waking up and getting rushed in. We do have some stuff to do as well. Unfortunately, we can't light ray on eight with the brass wing, for example. But we don't have to necessarily do that. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Well, this draws the other quality, which is kind of spicy. I don't want to use it here, but I kind of have to. May the light. How good is a 1-3 this turn? It's not that insane, so I will actually serve a spell last like an idiot. This draws two of these, but I, I kind of want this, you know, the carryl card in my deck. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Not having another quality means uh, the 9 drop's kind of bad for us. That's not too bad. So I can spend four mana here, but I don't get to carry all of this turn. So I think we start with this. With every step, the light guides you. Kings? 
Having an extra quality is nice, but Kings just lines up nicely here, right? I'm taking quality, because I'm going to be drawing Cariel very soon. Thanks for the hype train, guys. Appreciate you. Ooh, the sermon's kind of crispy here. So that means we don't actually play the uh, the order in courts this turn. That's kind of crispy. Need a bit more spice over here. Wait, do I actually do this? Am I getting baited? If they have Ikmen, it's really bad for me. It's really bad for me if they have Ikmen. There's a lot of cards here that normally aren't in the deck. I'm thinking they might not have Ikmen. That's actually not really true. Hilarious. Like, it's just... It's so silly how how little you have to actually plan your fucking game plan when everything just curves out for you. It's really frustrating. The equality's still fine. I can brass swing. It's just a little yuckier. I think that stopped the train. The thing is... What the fuck was that trade, dude? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Might not draw Cariel though. Can I afford to wait a turn? It's a lot of damage. I don't think I can. The quality brass wing city tax clears and leaves us nine eight seven. It does not though. That costs twelve mana. Does it not? Unless I'm missing something. This was still a good play. The city tax was a omega nutty top deck. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Very convenient. Time has come. Fine. Brasswing uh, light ray is actually pretty good here. We're healthy enough that we can be a little bit greedy too. This is actually fine. Trailers are fine. Like it is, it is good. It is better against. Um, it's better against. Um, uh, priests, which if you sing a lot of it, makes a lot of sense. There's the crush. The invigorating sermon actually getting us quite a bit of mileage. Sylvanas. That's pretty bad for me. I'm pretty sure I lose. That's very bad for me. They can't VT the crush. It's so bad against Cariel. So they have to trade those two off. I can't carry all here, it's not good enough, so we'll do this. I kinda need to hit a Righteous Protector. Nice, hitting two Righteous Protectors was actually insane here. Okay. Winnable. I mean, to be fair, I played both Muckhorn Servants, so I think those are my only two taunts left in the deck. How big are you? Yeah, small. What a delicious That's fine. That is also fine. Okay. It's better to hear power to heal extra. 
Could even smite here, but it's not that great. I think I do want to carry all. The question is my hero power in first or after. I don't think I'm swinging into that. I think I'm making zero attacks, actually. Force them to attack into stuff. I can do this, actually. That attack actually doesn't matter too much. Repent. Why didn't I kill this actually? Wow, I'm falling apart, dude. I I need to get some extra sleep. Denny's not that juiced. That, that this was bad. I should have killed the mountain there. What is wrong with me? I am throwing a little bit. I mean, actually, no, no. There, there is a reason to do this because it, there's fewer things on board this way, and it's more likely that Nathrys just cleans up. Whereas if the two fours are up, there's a chance it doesn't clean up uh, poopy stuff. Good Leviathan here. I'm not afraid of dying. Yeah, sure. I actually am afraid of dying. I thought there was only one taunt spawning, so this is kind of bad for me. Uh, which means I have to dredge first. This was bad. Oy, oy, oy. Guys, I am falling apart. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I probably can't die, but I'm 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 pushing the bounds here. <laughs> I am pushing the bounds here. Uh, yeah, the brass wing uh, came from my board. Okay. I mean, being greedy is actually fine. Yeah, the greed is actually okay. Why does it say Sylvanas is at the bottom of my deck? Sylvanas should be my next card. I'm probably going to go ahead and do the healing thingy. The battle! I don't want to keep dredging is the thing. Because the bottom of my deck is poop. Okay, so they have a mountain bear, some other card in their deck, and then a top deck. I think we get there. We even beat uh, Insatiable, I think, if it's a... Uh there. Which it really shouldn't be, but... It's not guaranteed we heal again. This is probably Denathrius, then? A toast to all who sought to kill me. Well, that's ripped for them. I could heal from war, but this is just an acceptable trade. Am I going to play around Sire here? Remember the fallen. Can you hear that hunter screaming? It wasn't likely for them to actually kill the, the, the Denathrius. It was not likely for them to kill the Denathrius. Sure. 
I mean, it wasn't unlikely, but they were not favored to kill it, I should say. I'm just going to play this next turn. I don't want to get Theotard. I could have played it this turn as well. I probably should have played it this turn. Because, like, I, I I can't lose. I mean, if they're running... Are they more likely to be running Theotard or, or uh, Devour? That's a good question. What is it? Okay. Bam. Got there. This was a game of Hearthstone. This was a game of Hearthstone. I can say that for certain. Well I can see. So lose the Devour? Absolutely not. Nexa. Let's hunt. Okay, we'll keep carrying. Behold the light inferno. Let's keep Bannerman. Hope everything works out. Three keep. Yikes. Could have tossed the three since I'm keeping Carriel, but I see you Bannerman's pretty good. Nice. Oh, I see. Interesting. So we're looking for removal cards here. These are not removal cards. These are bad. Holy shit, these are bad. I'm in a lot of danger. Oh boy. We have 40 health to work with, so that's at least nice. And we do have carry all, but we have to get the carry all. Their gnolls are definitely free, so they more may or may not hold. It's not infused. Can I wait for it to be infused? I can. Theotar is interesting, but I don't have cards that I terribly want to give them. This is sad, but I think I should do it. Tempo. It doesn't appear to be the, uh, the weapon deck, so I have a bit more time. There's always going to be a deck that is super popular and pretty good. Just time it happens to be Hunter. I don't think Hunter's that bad, honestly. Kept this card. Crap. Okay. Hmm. Drawing gun to quality here would be pretty cool. Or a Knight of Anointment. Ran. That's almost like quality. I can still hit the quality. Okay. Hmm. I think I died. Theotar is not going to save me. Leviathan's too slow. Need a bit more spice battle, over here. I can Great Hall something and play a Light Ray. Taunt on 7, then carry on 8. I don't know. We'll see. The lists are fine. I just don't think the deck is as powerful as uh, its stats are showing. I think it's easier to beat than people realize. But it is frustrating to play against. And I don't like playing against it. 
So I do think it makes a negative play experience for some people, but I think it also makes a positive play experience for some other people. I don't think it's too bad. I think if I really want them to uh, change things, I'd rather them change the Atar and Sire. That was a pretty good outcome for me, I'd say. I probably run steps. It's a little annoying. Bannerman? This makes it cost three, then I can go recruit, recruit, light ray. It's pretty spicy. It's a lot of stats. Three, four, five, one, two, three, six. Alternatively, I go great hall. Is this cards? Cards. Great hall. One, two, three, and it's not enough. Let's try this. If I hit a one drop, it's really good. I did not, which is a little unfortunate, but it's okay. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Brand school teacher can uh, do some stuff as well. Yeah, that Santa emote is pretty nice. It was an older emote you got, right? Yeah, exactly. It was a uh, cheer emote from earlier. They had some pretty good ones in that year, I think. There's a few that are pretty good there. that I've lost the video game. Probably. Let's kill the Edwin so they can't step that. Looks like I might actually survive to carry all, but it might not be good enough. I should know what this card is, but I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. Could have been a Wicked Stab? I'm not sure. Starshin wasn't bad here. So them trading it is probably good for me. Maybe it's not. Well, I'm happy to see that hit. I'm not happy to see this tooth. I could die here. Oh, yeah. Keep trading. Uh oh. You can't always trust that trade makes me very happy. Am I alive with this? I should be alive with this. Oh, now we draw city tax, huh? It's a random card. We probably get there. They have, what, 3 plus 2? It's 5? We're at 9? So if Bran uh, school teacher hooks us up, we're chilling. City tax is also quite good if they develop any more minions, but it's not super likely. Oh, I died? That's really unfortunate. That was really unlikely for me to die here, actually. Okay, I didn't die. Good. What a horrid Hallows. Does this always draw quality? Yes. Does that win me the game? Also, yes. One, two, five, six, seven. It's fine. Light guide my patience. May the light grant you peace. All are equal under the light. Remember the fallen. I'm alive to Wicked Stab here. Wait, that only healed me for three? Of course it did, because there were only three minions. Okay. That deck might not be updated. Hey, Baguette. I went poorly. I got really fucking high rolled. But I also had some misplays. So it is what it is. 
So I could Theotar that. Am I more likely to win by Theotaring or by going Bran? What would they keep here? Stab is lethal next turn. But this is better. Anybody? This is pretty good. Well, it's probably a bit less fair high variance. Yeah, this will be fine. Pick me, pick me. Let the dead rest. Pick me, pick me. Remember the fallen. What deck is this? It is not Jailer. Jailer is a bad card. You should not be running it in your decks. Jailer, I think, is more of a tournament inclusion than uh, a ladder card. 